begins all the way back in 2017 at UVA. Right before they met, both Daniel and Lena were exhausted with the dating app scene. Daniel was busy with law school, and Lena was fed up with casual dating, calling her experience, and I am quoting, a disaster. <laughs> Both were ready to give up. Thank goodness they didn't lose all hope, because it was in that moment of seeming defeat that they both grasped the greatest victory of all, finding one another. When Lena matched Daniel on Coffee Meets Bagel, the unofficial Jewish dating app, <laughs> I mean, it has Bagel in the name, she knew he was worth the shot. She immediately sent a picture of Dan to her mom, who simply replied, Beauty pie. <laughs> Dan invited her to a milkshake drinking competition, something that they both claimed in our conversations is a completely normal first date. When I asked Lena her first impression of Daniel, she responded, Daniel drives seriously, like an old man. I like that he was very safe. <laughs> Lena was nearly convinced Dan could be special, but she did have one hesitation. Could this guy secretly be a UVA Republican I've heard so much about? <laughs> a pretty hilarious concern in retrospect knowing our family. As a test, Lena decided to cleverly work in, and I am quoting again, some questions about the Commerce Clause to figure it out. From that sentence alone, you would know that these two are destined for one another. Daniel remembered the first date vividly as well. He described Lena as being hilarious, vivacious, and 100% authentically herself from the second they met. He told me after just one date, he knew he had met his person. It didn't take long for things to start feeling serious. From social events, sports games, study breaks, and everything in between, they quickly became inseparable. Lena graduated before Daniel and moved to Richmond for work. It wasn't easy, but they made a point of visiting each other as much as possible. Distance apart would become a recurring challenge in their relationship, but they found that time and time again, distance only made them closer. Soon after, Dan did a semester abroad in Spain. While they both recognized the challenge of being even further apart, they were determined to prove their commitment to one another. Daniel remembered calling Lena every single night after she went to bed to leave a voicemail so she could start every single morning with, and I love you. Lena used almost all of her vacation leave to take her first international trip, the first of what would become many international adventures together. Once Daniel graduated, he took a job in DC. They both recalled desperately wanting to live together right away, but Lena still had her job in Richmond, and they agreed to wait until she found a local role. Being apart longer was hard, but once again, they were determined to make things work. Lena gave up her apartment and commuted all the way to Richmond from her parents' home in Fredericksburg every single day. She would come up to DC on Thursday nights and spend the weekends with Daniel. But most notably of all, she even left her beloved cat Pablo in DC ahead of her with Daniel as, quote, collateral. <laughs> For his part, Daniel supported Lena every step of the way. He'd edit her applications and resume, share listings that looked promising, but most of all, gave her the words of encouragement that she needed to carry forward. Lena told me that Daniel makes her a better person. She said, he's proud of me. He's so proud, even in times when I'm not proud of myself. When Lena got the role in DC, they were both overjoyed. They'd finally get to live together. Lena shared how excited Dan was saying, he gave me a huge hug and said, I knew you could do it. While they had seemingly gotten over their greatest hurdle, life can be challenging and cruel at times. COVID hit, coupled with social unrest, and the deep feelings of anxiety and uncertainty that we all experience. Dan and Lena moved out of the city and relied heavily on one another for support as the world seemed to be crumbling around them. The most challenging moment of all, however, came when Daniel was diagnosed with Crohn's disease last year. He recalled worrying not just about his health, but also about being a burden. Lena was, and is, Daniel's anchor. She made it clear she wasn't going anywhere and has served as a pillar of strength since that day. 
Daniel told me that Lena helped him realize that even in the tough times, happiness can always be found. And isn't it true that in our most challenging moments, the important things become clearer than ever? Daniel and Lena, from our discussions, it was so clear how much love, respect, and admiration you have for one another. Together, you've already weathered so many storms, but you both come out stronger than ever on the other side. You bring out the best in one another, and I can't wait to see how your love grows from this milestone to the next. Love is often described in grand gestures or commitments. We often feel our deep passion can best be expressed with large acts. However, a successful relationship is much more often defined by the small choices and compromises we make every single day. It's easy to say, I die for you. It's less easy to turn the channel in the fourth quarter, Daniel. <laughs> it's easy to buy an expensive birthday present, but taking a moment to check in and listen every day, that is the true priceless gift. I encourage you both to always consider what the other needs, to balance your feelings with your partners, and to understand that marriage takes work. As the Nationals head coach, Davey Martinez, would say, try to go 1-0 every single day. And when you make mistakes, apologize, forgive, and grow together. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of going to you know all those things that we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at each other and remember this moment. For after today, you'll say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Daniel and Lena will now exchange vows. We met on a September afternoon in Charlottesville five years ago. For our first date, I had the inspired idea to challenge you to a milkshake drinking contest. I lost pretty badly. <laughs> After the milkshakes, we walked the lawn, we gazed at the stars. Honestly, I made up most of the constellations. When I got home, my roommate asked if I was going to see you again. Not wanting to jinx myself, I said, if I'm lucky. As I stand here before you today, I feel like the luckiest man on earth. When I reflect on where we are now, I can't help but marvel at how far we've come. We've shared so many unforgettable experiences. We've laughed until we've cried, and we've cried until we've laughed. We've gotten grad degrees and jobs, gotten sick, and gotten better. We've driven 34 hours for one basketball game. <laughs> and we've seen the sun set on three continents. We adopted a cat, Pablo, and taught him some simple tricks like play dead. <laughs> we danced in the kitchen for no reason, and we ditched a dance club just to get churros. Daniel, when we first met, I had all but given up on finding the one in Charlottesville. With only one semester of grad school left, I decided I would focus on my thesis and delete all of my dating apps. Tinder, delete. Bumble, delete. Hinge, delete. Coffee meets bagel, you have a match. You voicemail so you could listen to them before you went to bed. But you, being the model of patience that you are, would inevitably listen to them within 15 to 20 minutes of me sending them. I went into our first date so guarded, so protective of myself, so unwilling to settle or compromise. I was searching everywhere for red flags, but I couldn't find any. You exceeded all of my expectations, shattered my highest standards. Can you turn the page? <laughs> you know, as much as I love you today, my love for you will only continue to grow. I vow that on our 70th wedding anniversary, I will look at you with the kind of love and admiration that only a lifetime of shared experience can build. I promise to always love you and cherish you, to take care of you when you're sick, to be your travel companion, your confidant, 
your girl, your partner in crime. I promise to always make time for us, for our family. I promise I won't let my anxiety or my work get in the way of the things that we love. I promise this is forever. Daniel and Lena will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to one another. These rings symbolize a new beginning in your journey together, one filled with wonder, surprise and laughter, celebration, tears, and joy. As you wear them, may they be a constant reminder to you of one another and of the deep bonds of trust and love which they represent. Daniel, as you place the ring on Lena's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. <laughs> With this ring, I marry you. You are the love of my life and my very best friend. You are the love of my life and my very best friend. Lena, as you place the ring on Dan's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. You are the love of my life and my very best friend. You are the love of my life and my very best friend. After Daniel breaks the glass, I invite everyone to shout the Hebrew word mazel tov, meaning good luck and congratulations, but you'll all argue that. <laughs> <laughs> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.